another great artist taking part twice in many festivals. This young, charming lady next to me, Sarah Don Fina. Good evening. Good evening. You gave a great performance here in this club tonight. Thank you. Um, what is going on now after Melody Festival? And are you working on a new album? A lot is going on, actually. I was on my first solo um, live tour this entire spring, and I just recorded a new album, um, which is out the first week in November. Okay. It's quite a different album from everything I've done. It's sort of an acoustic jazz album. Um, I'm doing a big Swedish sort of comedy theater show this fall, and then I'm doing um, five concerts with a big symphony orchestra, singing Sinatra, Barbra Streisand, Liza Minnelli, that kind of music. Um, so I'm doing a lot of old school stuff this fall, which is going to be really fun. Okay. Are you going to promote yourself outside of Sweden? I always want to, but um, unfortunately that's not usually in my hands. So if you like me outside of Sweden, please request me on your radio station and maybe I can come to your country, hopefully one day. With the uh, participation at Eurovision, but this maybe would have been a, a breakthrough for an international career. Do you think this could have been an option? Oh, absolutely. If, if I would have won, I would have been, you know, uh, seen by a huge European audience, which would, yeah. would have been great. But um, I have a very good Swedish career, which I'm really proud of. And both of my songs that have been in the Melody Festival have become the most played songs on Swedish radio that year, which is of course a great achievement and for me a lot better than winning, so it gives me a, a longevity in my career, so I'm thrilled with it. Sarah Don Fina comes back every second year, <laughs> so well, 2011 should be a comeback and third time lucky. Thing is, you should never say never, but I think I'm done. I think I did what done? I could do, oh, okay. and, and I wouldn't mind coming back hosting the show or preferably songwriting for other artists, but um, I don't know. I, I doubt that I'll Take it as a again. challenge and come back. Take it as a challenge. Maybe I'll compete for another country. Who knows? Which country would that be? Oh, maybe Holland. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, England. I don't know. Any any country would be fine, but... but uh, no, it would just be fun to do something different. I love Sweden, I love the Melody Festival, but it's very hard to, to do something better than have the most played song on radio, you know, and if you come back you have to have, again, the most played song on radio, which I did, I don't think I can do it three times, so, uh, we'll see. Never give up. But, no. But, but about your name, I, I, do you have British roots, English roots, because Sarah don't find My mother is from New York, my father is ah, okay. from London. Okay. So British in America. But you live in Sweden. I live in Sweden, born and raised. I was going to ask if you have any links to the US, so mm -hmm. that would be actually a fabulous gateway, I mean, oh, to definitely. an American career. I'm an American citizen, so yes, so, um, absolutely. Have you ever tried it to... Um, I've been over in New York, had a showcase at a sort of very uh, respectable club called The Bitter End. Um, I've been over a couple of times, but... The, the, the will is there, but it's very hard to have a career outside of Sweden. There's a Sarah Dawn Finer in every country in the world, so okay. I try. Have you watched this Is Eurovision Song Contest? Yes. So what, what did you think of the show and do you have any favorites from that uh, this um, year's edition? I've actually performed a cover of the, win, the winning song, the German song, really? a couple of times because we had a big thing here about Love Stockholm 2010 and the song was about love so I did an acoustic version with my guitar a couple of times which was fun. I loved that song uh, specifically. I thought it was really good. Um, you make me very happy because I'm German. So oh, good, a, yeah. <laughs> that, that can, can you do a little bit for us now? Is that possible? Love, oh love, I want to tell you how I feel about you because I, oh I, can't go a minute without your love. Oh my God. Fantastic, that is it's really good. We saw you last year uh, awarding the points mm -hmm. on behalf of the Swedish mm -hmm. jury. Uh, did SVT contact you to do that? Or um, that the, yeah, I was in the international jury oh, for the Swedish. Oh, okay. So I also picked the, the winner and the, yeah. we were about five people in, in the jury. So I got that great honor to, yeah. to say the points on, on Eurovision television. It was fun. It was a real lot of fun. Have you always lived in Sweden? Uh, yeah, I lived in New York for a while, but uh, just a short while. Oh, okay. Um, otherwise, I've always lived in Sweden. So you have always been familiar with Eurovision, of course. You followed it as a kid. Uh, not really no, my no? thing, no. no. I'm sort of more a Motown person. Okay. I sing, I'm a soul 
singer-songwriter, sort of rock, jazz, blues person. But um, I've grown accustomed to the Eurovision okay. uh, the last couple of years. So who have been your musical influences ever since? Um, Eva Cassidy, mm -hmm. uh, Stevie Wonder, Aretha Franklin, mm. uh, Whitney Houston, I guess. A bunch of different people in every genre. Okay. Uh, cool. Motown, you mentioned Motown. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite Motown song? Or singer? Um, well, Steve Wonder is my favorite singer, probably in general, and he's a Motown singer. Um, what's going on with Marvin Gaye, uh, uh, Natural Woman, Aretha Franklin, those kind of wow. things. Wow, amazing. That's cool. Yeah. Amazing. Well, we hope to see you back next year. It would be fantastic to have another great song of yours. Thank you. I think you were the best last year. <laughs> Thank speaking. you. Thank you. So, and the best of luck for your career. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody.